So before this video gets too far ahead, I just want to let you guys know I do have a link in the description below where you guys can actually buy plush that I've won from arcade games and a bunch of other places from claw machines and everything else. They also come with an autograph card, so go down, check out the link in the description below. What is popping, y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So got a bunch of lottery tickets I'm going to go cash in today. And update on the Subaru, my WRX. If you guys don't know, the engine went kaboom or it was knocking very, very bad. I just got an update from the dealership and uh, it's literally sitting in the same spot because no technician wants to touch it. That's literally what they said, basically. So long story short, we got to wait until somebody wants to fix it and uh, they're probably going to have to get a short block. So they're going to have to literally place the whole short block in it is what they were saying. Uh, but they have to get a technician to actually move it into the shop and then tear it apart but none of them want to touch it because none of them want it to sit on their uh in their bay and uh, they don't make any more money because they have to do that job so literally that's the only update i have of the car right now it is still sitting at the same spot that it was when we dropped it off they said it could be anywhere between a couple weeks to get fixed all the way up to a few months just depending on when parts come in when they can find a technician that actually wants to work on it and do the job and uh yeah so Long story short, this is uh, the B Wells Mobile until then. So let's go cash these tickets in though. Just want to give you guys an update what's going on with the car. Let's go. A few moments later. So I just ran into the store there and cashed in all the lottery tickets. And uh, yeah, it was like 122 bucks. And that was with everything that we just bought, which was 237, I think, 238. And the 80 bucks we bought with uh, the Casino Royale. So we, we still lost quite a lot of money. But. I was playing the lottery for y'all, and especially in the Ohio lottery with all the fake multipliers and everything else, it, it's it's not great. But we still play all the new tickets. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new tickets. I'm going to make my way home now, I guess. I don't think I have any other plans tonight. So kind of a chill day. Probably end this right now, and then I'll pick you up tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Hope y'all doing great. Doing fantastic, all that good stuff. Got me a freaking package in the mail, and this is the weirdest thing. It was literally sitting all the way like on the corner of my porch. I'm like... They normally come up and put it on the uh, bench right there, but it was all the way down there by the step. I was like, that's strange. But anyways, we got a package. Let's open it and we'll see what we got. Literally just woke up. It's kind of chilly in my office. We got the Good Vibes shirt on today because today all about them good vibes. So we're going to see what the heck we got in this box. Box, package. I didn't say box and package at the same time. But let's see what we got right down here. So I don't show the address. Oh, no. Oh, this right here is for, one of them's for y'all. Dun, 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 dun. Not one, but two of the freaking one chip challenges have arrived to my house. The 2020 edition. Yes, they're coming to you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that. What is this right here? Oh, it's even the order and everything legitimately the order number and everything i don't want to try to show anything but yeah you can see it's from them oh my goodness all right well here it is y'all one of y'all lucky people are going to win a chip if you guys go back to my video and you guys watch it of me eating the one chip challenge it shows you how you can be entered into the giveaway to win one of these chips so go back watch the video of me my buddy alex his girlfriend and his brother josh eating this freaking one chip definitely was the hottest thing I've ever ate in my life. And uh, yeah, so go check that video out to see how you can win one of these freaking chips. I'm super excited about it. So let's get our day started though. I literally just woke up, this was on the porch. So I wanted to open it up and uh, yeah, this is what we got. I'm having a great day and I'm not eating one of these because this will ruin the day. But like I said, go watch the video of me eating the one chip challenge. Two hours later. So I went to lunch with these two and uh, what in the world? <laughs> they got a sample platter to share, and I got the exact same one just for myself. What's popping, y'all? Hope you're doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So, I have an update of the car or what's going on with the car. They called me last night and told me that the car had two quarts low on oil and the drain plug seal was actually missing. So, the crazy thing about this whole story is though, and then the update here is I checked the oil three to four times before it even went to the shop and it had oil in it. They loaded it up on the flatbed trailer as you guys seen in the previous video um, or if you guys didn't see it, I have a video of where the car blew up and everything like that. 
and then we take it to the shop and the guy i even tell the guy I said hey that it was me him and another guy there and i said there it has it has oil in it and everything man i don't know what's up with it and he goes i was like it had to have broke something in the motor or something because it's just it doesn't make sense so then i tell him i said yeah look it even has oil in it so i go around to the passenger side of the car i get the towel out of the car that i get from the car wash places to like wipe your car down and stuff like that i got that out of the car and i hand it to him because he was already pulling the dipstick out and then he, he was like he looks at it wipes it off it had oil on it puts it back in pulls it out looks at it and goes yeah it has oil on it and i i know i said i want to make sure i'm correct what i say here and i, I don't want to get words twisted i said to him i said look it even has oil and he's like yeah he's like it's full and then he goes hmm he puts it back in and then his buddy gets in the car and that's where you see this clip right here if you guys didn't watch the other video i'll play it right now roll the clip So as you just seen in that clip right there, that he had his buddy start the car and you can see him washing his hands or wiping his hands off with the towel that I just gave him. The guy in the blue shirt with the khaki shorts on. You can see that. But anyways, he then tells his buddy to start the car as you've seen in the video. And then he tells his buddy to turn the car off. Well, the thing of it is though, is you just checked the oil and it had oil in it. So if it's full of oil and then two days later or two or three days later, you call me and tell me that it has no oil in it. Um, that's kind of weird. It doesn't make sense. Actually, that happened on Friday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you call me. Six days later, it's two quarts low on oil. But six days ago, it was completely full of oil because two days prior to that, I got my oil changed. And then I came home and I left my car here for an entire day. So let's take you guys outside and I'll show you guys where I park my car at every day. And you'll see that there's no oil on the ground. So if you watch any of my videos, you know I park my car exactly right here all the time outside of the house. Mom's car is here, my car goes right here. You can see tire mark where the tires come out. Tire mark right around in here. Tire marks all around here, right? Right here is where my car would be parked at. It would be, because look, I'm gonna flip around and you can see where this car is. It's gonna come straight up. It's gonna park right around in here. And look, there's no oil stains anywhere on the driveway. You can't tell me that these stones that are literally white, they would not be black. There's literally no spots in this driveway at all of where you could possibly think. Look, this right here, white. Look at this driveway. It's all dirt or like white. There's no way that there is an oil spot. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. If it was leaking oil that bad, like they say it was, there would be some kind of oil spot in my driveway, but there's not. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head to the oil change place. I'm going to get a receipt from them just so I have a backup receipt because the receipt I have is in my car now. But then we're going to make our way down to the dealership and we're going to figure out what the heck's going on. Because he said when I talked to him yesterday on the phone, he said after I caught him up in his lives a couple times, he turns around and says, it could have been a false reading. I said, you can't get a false reading on a dipstick. What are you talking about? I was like, you wiped it off. You stuck it back in. You checked the oil. I don't understand what you're trying to say. The batteries do not die on a dipstick and the, and the oil changes or whatever. So he then tries to tell me, well, let me talk to the technician. Well, I said, what's that going to do? I said, what's going on? And he's just like, what well, was this? Oh, well, it was that. One thing after another, after another, kept catching him up. He said, let me call you tomorrow. He hasn't called me yet but we're gonna make our way down there. The general manager's name is Mark, so we're either gonna talk to him or we're gonna to talk to the service manager, Pat. We're gonna to talk to somebody that's up somewhere. I don't care who, where, what, when, how, we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna go from there. So let's make our way and get this adventure underway. Hey, no, so I was up here uh, a couple days ago yeah. and I uh, bought my red Subaru. I called up yesterday, I need to get a seat in my car. Uh, okay. I don't have like the vent or anything, I don't know, I'm head. Yeah, the red WRX, not Subaru. Oh yeah, Super WRX. <laughs> I would not know, man. I'm not gonna say it every day. Yeah. yeah, they tried to say that uh, it had no uh, oil plug seal on it. It said that you guys didn't put the oil plug seal in it. That's what he said. And they said that it uh, then drained oil. So then it said it drained the oil out, and that's what blew the car up. And I said, that doesn't make any sense no. because... 
even if there wasn't a seal, it's not just going to straight drain it. It's going to drip it, and you're going to see that. Well, and, and it blew up a day and a half after I I left here. So you can't. And then he then he turned around and tried to say that it. Uh, they tried to say that. Um, no, no, the, the, the dealership, the dealership. Yeah, they, they, they tried to tell me that it was, um, they said it was you guys, and they said, oh yeah, they didn't put the oil thing, and I said, I don't understand that. And they said, so I got to the deal, when I got there, when it blew up, I heard tick, 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 tick. I then looked, and I said, let me make sure, let me make sure it has oil in it. And uh, I checked the oil, the first thing I did was check the oil, and it had oil in it, it was completely full. I took it to the dealership, uh, they checked the oil in it, and then, it was completely full. The guy told the guy to start the car up. The guy starts the car up, and I was like, if it had no oil in it, why the fuck would he start the car? Right. So. Yeah, so I was like. Oh, uh, uh, Wellman, W W E L L M A N. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> but I told him I was like, I left the receipt in the car, and I don't want him to do some trying to like some petty shit and try to like take the receipt out of the car. So I was like, well, I'll go get a new one. Then I'll have a copy of it. So I don't have to worry about that. Right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hey, got the receipt. All right, so back home now. As you guys seen in that last clip, that was me going into the uh, oil change place. I was going to go up to the um, the dealership today, but. I'm gonna wait for him to call. They said they're gonna call me today. I'm gonna wait for the call and see what happens. I am not gonna jump the gun. I don't wanna go down there and uh, see what's going on. I'm gonna let them call me and then uh, I got an app that records the call. I'm gonna tell them, hey, this call is being recorded and I'm gonna go from there. So if they wanna tell me what they wanna tell me, they can tell it all on recording and I'll post it in this video for y'all. So, and uh, use it for legal reasons and everything else if they try to do some funny stuff. But I'm gonna go out feed those deer. So there y'all go. That's really the only update I have as of right now. And uh, when I get more, I'll let you guys know. What's poppin' y'all? So as I was feeding the deer, I came back in, didn't shoot an ending to this video. It has actually been uh, about a day since they were supposed to call me, a day or two since they were supposed to call me. They haven't called me yet. So I still don't know what the heck's going on. Um, just to kind of like fill you guys in the whole situation from when it started to when it is now. This right here was the easiest way I could think of to like explain like the dates and the times and everything out for y'all. So today is the 18th right there. I'm using the mouse so it might be a little bit sloppy when I'm trying to draw and stuff, but it all started on the 7th. Got the oil changed on the 7th, right? On the 8th, I didn't go anywhere. Literally stayed home, didn't do anything. The car sat there in the driveway. That's why I was saying in the, earlier in this video, there would be an oil spot on the ground. Long story short, we move over to the ninth. So the ninth comes around, car goes kaboom, <laughs> knocking, doing all its thing. Take it to the shop. It had oil in it. I checked it three or four times. Gave it to the guy. Tows it over to the tow truck. Tows it to with the tow truck, and um, boom, they check it at the shop right in front of me. Him, and, or one of the guys in the, the khaki shorts and the blue shirt or blue shirt and khaki short, whatever it was, he checked it and. It had oil in it. It was completely full. He even said it was full. And the guy has, or he has the guy then start the car up. I'm doing this one take, so it's a little rough. Sorry. Anyways, he says, yeah, it sounds pretty rough. So on and things, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, he says, oh, they probably won't be able to get to it until the 11th or the 12th or the 13th. So anyways, the 10th goes by, the 12th goes, or the 11th goes by, the 12th comes nothing didn't hear a phone call 13th goes by no phone call the 14th comes around right didn't get a phone call so i called him and i said what's going on he says oh um uh, i didn't want to call you because really there's no update so it's sitting in the same spot nobody wants to work on it i explained that earlier on in this video anyways long story short it didn't get touched 15th i get a phone call after you guys see me going eating and stuff like that with thomas and them uh 
later on a little bit after that we get a phone call and that's when he tries to tell me that the oil plug seal is missing and he's trying to throw it off onto the other people and try to say that it was missing over two quarts of oil uh, at least uh, or more and um there's no way it was if it was it, it literally did that after it blew up because on the 9th if you guys remember on the 9th we checked it multiple times even the guy himself that i talked to on the phone checked it and i explained that earlier in the video as well anyways he keeps telling me well let me talk to the tech let me talk to the tech because he knows i caught him up in a lie and he knows for a fact that he did check it on the freaking 9th on the 9th anyways 15th goes by he says i'll call you tomorrow well, that would have been the 16th, right? Well, I did say today's the 18th. I have not got a phone call on this day. And then Saturday, no phone call. Today's Sunday, no phone call. So will we get a phone call on the 19th? I don't know what's going to happen. We'll let you know, and I'll keep you guys updated. So, But as of right now, still nothing. And it has been a total of literally. So ever since I blew it up, it's been on the 9th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 days. I've not had my car, and on day 15, they tried to say that it was the oil people's fault from the 7th, and uh, yeah, I didn't drive it this day, it blew up this day, it does seem kind of suspicious that the oil company, and that day right there, boom, 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 it's pretty close together, but it had oil in it on the freaking 9th, so I can't emphasize, or I can't even like emphasize this enough, I think it's the right word, the 9th is the day that we had the problem with everything and then didn't hear anything all the way until the freaking i had to call them on the 14th the 15th they called me back and told me blah 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 even though they didn't give me no update because i long story short tried to lie on the 15th and uh like i said i had to call them on the 14th to figure out what the heck was going on nothing happened they still was sitting in the same spot the uh oh yeah and then i should put this in there the 16th I tried to call them at least four to eight times. Nobody would take my call. I end up uh, asking to get transferred to talk to Pat. Um, nobody would answer my phone call over there. I got asked to get transferred to the service people. Nobody would answer. I called every other hour, every hour. Nobody answered the phone call. So I don't know what the heck's going on. But today is the 18th right here. And uh, we haven't heard anything back yet. So we'll let you know tomorrow. See what happens. I want to apologize that the video diagram might have been a little bit too long or whatever, but I needed to get that out there and show you guys just like how long this has been and what's going on and everything like that. And uh, since this is an update video, I just wanted to throw it in there as well. Um, if you're still at this part of the video, I truly appreciate you. Definitely means a lot to me. And uh, the car as of right now, I got the paper because I was curious how many miles is on it. It's 32,006. Or this is when I got the oil changed. Sorry. Uh, 32,672 miles. So the actual factory warranty that comes with the car, because I bought a brand new, not even about a little over a year or so ago, and uh, it still has that on there. But I paid for an extended warranty and everything should be covered. Any problems like this should be covered, they said. And uh, they're trying to get out of it and trying to not take uh, responsibility for it, basically what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Hope and pray we get this stuff figured out. Once I get another update, I'll let you all know. But like I said, it was a good day. Keep on keeping on. Don't let them bring it down. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.